Hello folks, Phil Gallagher of 3 You here for an especially janky legacy video. Um, so today's donation comes from Matthew H, who wanted to see Pros Bloom updated for 2022. Uh, and huge shout outs to the folks at my Discord, especially Toasty, for putting in some work to build this list. Uh, we're going to start with a quick tournament history lesson. So way back in the day, there used to be this deck called Pros Bloom, and this is Mike Long's uh, version that he famously did quite well with. The pros in the name comes from Prosperity, which makes each player draw X cards. And the Bloom portion comes from Cadaverous Bloom, which lets you exile a card from your hand to add black black or green green to your mana pool. Now, using Prosperity, you draw a bunch of cards. You then convert the cards into mana via Cadaverous Bloom, and you can also sacrifice your lands via squandered resources to kind of help out with this. And the idea is you churn through your deck, continuously drawing cards with things like Infernal Contract and more copies of Prosperity, until you can get to the point that you can cast a giant drain life and fireball your opponent to death. Now, one very important thing. When this deck list was originally played, the magic rules were different. And uh, I didn't play then, so I forgot to check the wording here. It was something like, you didn't lose the game for being at zero or less life. I think it was until the end of the current phase. So it was okay to go into a negative life total, so long as you got out of that eventually. And that was kind of the idea with the drain life. This deck can deal a lot of damage to itself. Infernal Contracts add up very quickly, and if you're playing cards like Vampiric Tutor on top of that, or you have to, uh, or no, that's not a pain land, never mind, or, or you have to do anything else like that, like, you can end up in a really weird spot. So I'm going to try to keep the spirit of this deck list alive while updating it with some more powerful cards that have been printed since then. And here's what we're working with, with a slightly larger card pool. The overall idea is going to be the same, except we're not going to be running Prosperity itself now. We're going to kind of change up the draw engine a little bit. We're going to play Damnable Pact instead. And though this costs one more mana, this targets a player meaning that this can be a win condition or a card advantage engine, depending on what we are seeking to do. We are also going to play Meditate instead of additional copies of the card that is functionally the same as Infernal Contract, because our life total is a very real concern with this deck list. Since the magic rules have changed, we, we can't go into a negative life total. We will just lose the game instantly, so we've got to kind of respect that a little bit. And the big upgrade that we get is Peer into the Abyss. If we can get into the 7 mana range, we can go ahead and draw half of our library. And at that point, we should have enough mana to kind of go off between like Lotus Bell, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, and Cadaverous Bloom. Again, Peer into the Abyss can be pointed at the opponent as well. Uh, if we, like, can peer and then finish them off with a damnable pact or something of that general nature. Now, this is going to be a bit questionable, right? Like, we are trying to play a 5-mana enchantment that does not win the game when we cast it, right? Like, we are, we are in it for the lulls today. This is not going to be nearly as competitive of a storm deck as something like Ant or TES or the Epic Gamble. As far as the sideboard goes, and I'm just going to kind of pull this out and make this big here. Garbage of Flowers seems nuts in this deck for when we get paired against the blue decks. So when we get paired against blue, we're going to slow down and we're going to play Defense Grids and Carpet of Flowers. And then we have five cards to answer opposing hate cards, and three Rotting Regisaurs for those times where our opponent just has too much hate and we can't possibly win. Dark Ritual into this big dumb dinosaur can potentially steal us a couple of games here and there. Um, this is a list that is probably never going to be ready for a Legacy League, so we're going to mess around in the tournament practice room today and kind of see how games go. And I can also make some adjustments to this if it seems like it is just, like, completely not going to work. One of the things that I'm kind of wondering from early on is if we should just have a artifact package closer to that of TES rather than playing Cabal Rituals. The Cabal Rituals are really good once we kind of, like, are going off and have Threshold. But kind of before that, they're just plus one mana, which isn't super ideal. 
Uh, anyway, I hope you will enjoy this wonderful jank. Let's go ahead and hop directly into the games here. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you like what you see. And if you're a regular, throw me a like before this video begins. It's one of the easiest ways to support my content for free. Here we go. Nostalgia trip time. Okay, I have no idea what exactly makes an opening hand capable, but if I get plus two mana and get to Cadaverous Bloom, I can probably, like, work my way towards Pier in the Abyss. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, this is one of those times where this is, like, a pretty legit six-card hand that also has, like, enough cards to, like, start pitching things to Cadaverous Bloom to go off. Uh, one of the things I was told in this deck list is that, like, it mulligans very badly because, like, the cards in your hand are very necessary for Cadaverous Bloom. So I think I am going to try keeping a lot of hands. All right, here we go. Opponent thought about their mulligan for quite a while. Let's see what they're playing. Uh, it is a bobble. Nice looking bobble, too. All right, they're just going to crack it. Okay. We're potentially playing against, like, a Delver deck of some kind, or probably more accurately, like, a Ledger Shredder sort of deck. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Do I just try to jam Cadaverous Bloom right now? Sure. I think, I, I think I'm down with that. All right. That has resolved. This has resolved. Let's try to play Cadaverous Bloom. Okay. It has resolved. We're just going to chill here. And then next turn, I can attempt uh, a peer into the Abyss win. I probably don't want to, uh, like, pitch the second peer into the Abyss in case the first one gets countered. But my Cadaverous Bloom didn't get exiled. So, like, there's that. Blue-white. Uh, that's bad for me. All right. The Ponder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I want to go for it this turn, while this counterbalance is completely random, I can try. That may just be better than anything else. All right. Exile Ponder. Exile Meditate. Exile Peer into the Abyss. Cast Peer into the Abyss, targeting me. Let's see if you have a 7-drop on top. Choose not to use the ability. Holy shit, it resolved. Let's fucking go. Uh, let's figure out what CMC is on top of my opponent's library. Here's a zero drop. I've chosen not to use the ability. Fantastic. Dark Ritual. It is Displacer Kitten, so they have a four drop on top. All right. We're going. So, I would like to send a few more cards to my graveyard. Let's make a blue mana, like, cast a meditate, I guess. All right. All right. Draw four cards. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff that I'm looking for. There's Lotus Petal. Let's always yield to that counterbalance. We're going. We actually are going off on turn three. Like, some stuff worked well for us to get to this point, but uh, this is super cool. So there's six cards in Graveyard. Um, so I can, like, sacrifice a Lotus Petal or something to make it 7. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and meditate again. And now at this point, I think I'm just good. Get Avarice Bloom, exile a land, and I can go ahead and start playing my Rituals. They are now at full strength. So there's a Cabal Ritual. There's a Cabal Ritual. That's up to nine. There's another Cabal Ritual. Yeah, now we're just looking to get to north of 20 mana. Um, so I can go ahead and uh, just exile a bunch of land cards from hand. Have I played a land? No. Uh, exile. 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 All right. Increase my storm count here a little bit for no reason. Uh, and then let's cast a Damnable Pact. Target you. Let's do a few more than 18, just for giggles. Do it for, uh, 24. Oh my gosh. YouTube, we did it. We did it! <laughs> Opponent, thank you for letting me do that. 
Okay, so now I know that we're playing against a blue deck. I want defense grids and carpet of flowers to make my life easier. Um, so let's assume carpet of flowers can go out for that. And then I'm not exactly sure from there. I guess spirit guide gets kind of bad, right? Spirit guide seems kind of bad. Spirit guide worse than cabal ritual. I'm sure. Also, do I want a random like void snare or abrupt decay? I, I actually might. Like, counterbalance is kind of a big deal. Yeah, let's do something that looks kind of like that. Yeah, we got a brainstorm. It probably works out somehow, right? Um, more realistically, I'm keeping this hand because I have an infernal contract. Now? <laughs> probably not now. Like, it's really a draw two that costs me ten life at this point because it also costs me the dark ritual. I think I'm going to assume that my opponent will have more interaction this game. And uh, kind of see how that goes. I'm pretty into Brainstorm this turn, though. Just going to cast this now before making a land drop. Okay, I am not ready for this Pact yet. And I'm probably not ready for Meditate yet. Um, let's go ahead and fetch. Also, do I have Tropical Island or were they just Bayous in here? Because that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, uh, I'm going to add a Tropical Island in between games for this exact scenario where I want access to green. Um, I have another fetch line in hand. I'll just get Underground Sea this time, though. And Ponder? Uh, that is a Cadaverous Bloom. That is appearing to the Abyss. I want those cards. Uh, in case something randomly happens to the Order, I think the Peer into the Abyss is more important. I will not shuffle. The next turn, I probably try Dark Ritual into Cadaverous Bloom and see where we go from there. Brainstorm of your own? Absolutely. There's also worlds where I just find a defense grid and my life gets a lot easier. We'll uh, see if my opponent like just plays Teferi into Displacer getting and kills me, though. Here's another fetch. Feels like Teferi. Could be like a Narset. Back to basics. Uh, yeah. That is, uh, that is rough here. Yeah, that's quite rough here, actually. So the reason this is bad is because, like, I need both green and black to get Cadaverous Bloom into play. And I need this to get my green, so I can't just get, like, a basic land off of it. I also get just worse at passing the turn. So that's a thing. Alright, I found some basics. That's not bad. The so next turn, I could, like... Blue to Delta, get green, dark ritual, cast cadaverous bloom, and attempt to go off. Although if my opponent like doesn't have a win condition in play, I might just continue to chill. Yeah, let's uh let's continue to chill. Like I'm not having to discard. Opponent doesn't have a win condition in play yet. And uh there's a lot. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Got scared for just a microsecond there. I think I would like to brainstorm this turn. Oh, Abrupt Decay is really fucking good against that back to basics. Put the Pact back in the deck. Put the Meditate back in the deck. I'll play a Polluted Delta past the turn with the intention of doing end of turn Abrupt Decay on back to basics if nothing changes. But, you know, there is Displacer Ketten, right? Like, that is very much a thing that exists. So things could get really awkward. I think that is what it is. I do think I'm going to set uh, cast a Brainstorm first, though, because if I find um, a fence grid, I would rather cast that prior to the Abrupt Decay. Ooh, Carpet's really good, too. Okay. Back a Meditate. And an Infernal Contract. And attempt this. The... Okay, it worked. I have a lot of mana to work with now. Let's go. <laughs> we get to play some fun games here. I think I'm going to start with Carpet of Flowers. Okay, it's worked. Move to my second main phase, where I think I'll go ahead and just make green with this. Play a Lotus Petal. Play a Dark Ritual. I'm trying to use Cadaverous Bloom as, like, the bait spell here. See if this gets countered. Okay, it does. Pitching a daze. 
And now I think I will go black, 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 cast an Infernal Contract targeting myself. Hope I don't get, like, Hull Breachered. There's a Flusterstorm. That's fine. Uh, we're not going to pay for that. And we'll just call it a turn here and uh, try to go off again next turn. Like, we can very easily cast a Peer or an Infernal Contract next turn. And let's see what opponent's bringing to the table. Like, they don't have threats, so they must have a bunch of interaction. Uh, there is a Mentor. That's fine. Prismatic ending on Carpet of Flowers is a little annoying, admittedly. And that's what we're seeing. Alright, goodbye, Carpet. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. So I do have enough to cast Peer into the Abyss. However, it is dazable. Do I care? I don't know that I care. Like, Infernal Contract and past the turn is, like, super risky. Because, like, I will just be at 10 with my opponent having like, multiple relevant cards. I don't think this resolves, but I think I have to try. Like, I just think if I go to 9 life here, these two cards, yeah, kill me just a huge portion of the time. Alright, goodbye, Peer into the Abyss. There's worlds where I die on my opponent's turn. Like, oh, am I just gonna hit for 4? That's fucking fantastic if that's the case. Yeah, sure. Although, like, it's fantastic on the surface, but also just might mean that, like, opponent has a fistful of counter spells. Um, I think I die for casting this Infernal Contract. Okay. Well, we're gonna cast some stuff. Here's Petal, Petal. And now I have to decide if I want to Bloom now. If I Bloom now, I can play Infernal Contract with one floating and then have this in play for if I draw something big. This is probably one of my few opportunities to cast Bloom. Days is rough again. Maybe I just meditate. Let's do that. Make some of the Cabal Ritual lines better. Ooh, Carpet. Nice. Carpet is quite actively good. Go ahead and cast that. It is... I guess opponent only has two islands despite having five mana sources. So at this point, let's go ahead and move to the second main phase. One, two, three, four mana in hand. So in that case, I'm going to say yes to this and pick black. Play this land. I'm going to go ahead and fetch with this now and take a land out of my deck. And also just make sure I have a green source in here. I do. So I want to have a green-black source available for what's going to happen next. Go ahead and cast an Infernal Contract going to three. And... Whiff? Yeah, um, could keep going if I had played the Cadaverous Bloom. That would have been gotten by a daze, so I am dead on board, and I skip a turn. GG's. Um, I don't think I'm going to change anything about my sideboarding here, although maybe I want another Cadaverous Bloom over, like, one random Meditate or something. Like, maybe this is just important enough that I need to try to tap out for this more consistently. Uh, yeah, I like this hand a lot. So I'm going to play Carpet of Flowers um, essentially as a bait spell. So I am going to attempt to get my opponent to remove this with Prismatic Ending so that I can actually resolve Defense Grid and, like, have it stick. That's my plan. Okay. No immediate fetch for Prismatic Ending, which is nice. Oh, never mind. There it is. There's the Tundra. Oh, it's blue mana, though. Nice. Opponent did get Tundra here, notably, so I might not have to worry about back to basics in the short term. Alright, take your card. We'll add that mana. I get black mana. A swamp. Two mana. Attempt defense grid. Nice. And things are going to get scary for my opponent if they don't remove that defense grid. That is... Oh, it's a counterbalance. Sure. How am I doing on mana? So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. So I'm not at Peer Into the Abyss yet. I think I'm just going to go ahead and make a land drop and pass the turn. Like, this carpet just gets better and better for me. And from here I can work on drawing, like, an Abrupt Decay to take that out. There's a world where I was supposed to play out the Lotus Petal earlier. Um, to better play around Counterbalance specifically. But then I play into things that destroy artifacts. 
but I guess I had other stuff of importance that would have gotten taken away first. Although, like, Meltdown is a totally reasonable card that my opponent could be playing, so, you know. Just a Mentor? Is it a Teferi? Teferi, sure. Bounce my Defense Grid. Bounce my Carpet also is very good. But I think it has to be Bounce the Defense Grid to represent Force of Will and Force of Negation. Another Defense Grid. Very nice. Yes. Add some Black Mana. Start with the Lotus Petal. Just kind of do a check. Their own Lotus Petal. Okay. There's my Defense Grid. It has resolved. I've already used this mana. Go ahead and just play out a second defense grid here. And we'll call it a turn. And see if I lose to the Displacer Kitten combo. Alright, there's a Lotus Petal. Is there a cat? Three mana. That's four mana. I assume I am dead to a cat here. Alright, so how this works. Oh, I am not dead to the cat immediately. Very nice. Okay. So, we'll explain how it works if our opponent gets around to trying to kill us. Uh, we're going to use this ability. We're going to add black mana. And this is our turn where we are going to attempt to go off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not going off with uh, a bunch of extra resources, but I don't think I get to give my opponent another turn here. So here we go. Peer into the Abyss should resolve. I'm not expecting a 7 drop on top of my opponent's library. Alright. Here is a Lotus Petal. We'll get to see what is on top with Counterbalance that I need to play around. Okay, it is a 2 drop. I think we win then. Alright, um, let's make a land drop. Ooh, I've already made a land drop? That does make things harder. Um, I haven't used Carpet of Flowers yet though. And I have multiple Carpet of Flowers, that's interesting. I can just peer into the abyss again, right? Four dark rituals, three mana, five mana, seven mana, nine mana. Or I can just like go to second main phase with a carpet of flowers with a plus two mana. Um, I can just keep that in hand as a card that I can pitch later though. Um, let's peer again. All right, dark ritual. And we'll repeat this process of four times. I can always yield to that counterbalance. I know what it is. Five mana. Seven mana. I think I do go ahead and cast the next one as well. Go into this with some floating. All right, there's nine mana. Fear into the abyss again. Wee! All right, uh, let's hope there's some lotus petals in there. Uh, no lotus petals. Uh oh, no lotus petals. No dark rituals. No cabal rituals. Oh, fuck. I think I just fizzled. Oh, no. Yeah, so all four of my Cabal Rituals and my remaining two Lotus Petals were all in the bottom 12 cards. Okay. That sucks. Oh, no. I am so dead. You can take that. You can take that. I'm discarding it anyway. Him. We're going to discard some cards. Uh, brainstorm, brainstorm, land, uh, I guess the carpets can go, one abrupt decay can go, I guess, a uh, bunch of fetch lands can go, brainstorms can go, cadaverous bloom can go, a couple of these can go, at this point I'm just clicking on cards, trying to get them out of my hand, get rid of a ponder, get rid of a meditate, get rid of one of these. I have so many cards to discard. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got another peer into the abyss. I can get rid of one of these. Get rid of one of these. Fuck, there's so many. All right, I. That was, it was unlikely, but it happened. Okay, there's a Teferi plus. I just, I just die to a zero drop artifact. Or I guess I die to anything, right? So. Brainstorm triggers Displacer Kitten, which blinks the Teferi. The Teferi can then bounce the Bobble, draw a card. Casting Bobble can bounce Teferi, and then that loop can continue. My opponent can draw their deck. So I guess the question is, like, do they have a Thassa's Oracle that can just finish me 
in a single turn, or is it just like mentor pass situation and I get to try again next turn? I'm not sure that I can win from five life and 12 cards in library, though. Like, my situation is not good. I'm just gonna ask my opponent. Do you have a kill this turn? Yeah, they, they are going to play Thassa's Oracle, so I'm not going to make them click through it. I will go ahead and concede here. Uh, deck's looking better than I thought. I'm going to get a Tropical Island in here real quick before the next round. Okay. Um, I have mana. I don't have anything to do with it yet. I think I'm just going to keep. Like, every one of these cards in hand isn't just a land. It's two mana off a Cadaverous Bloom. So I think keeping that in mind, I'm good with just keeping this hand because every Meditate, Infernal Contract sort of card that I draw is just potentially quite good. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. We're playing against a good deck. Um, good news is Merktide Regent doesn't enter play on turn one. The bad news is we're playing against, like, Force of Will, Force of Negation. Um, and my opening hand's not, like, great to start with. I was kind of hoping to have some time here. And with Dragon Rage Channeler potentially fueling out a very fast Murktide region, I just don't. Take your card. A ball ritual. I'm just going to chill and make some land drops here. Try to play around soft permission like days. And there's also this game of, like, how many points of damage do I take from fetch lands to add cards to my graveyard versus preserving um, very important points of my life total. Okay. Um, in terms of sequencing here, I might have played the Brainstorm first, right? Because, like, you find another Dragon Rage channel or you potentially want to play that over Delver, some worlds, depending on what the rest of the hand is. And then there's also, like, one mana disruption that you can potentially find. Right. Taking one, going to 19 is no big deal. Next turn, if I start getting hit for six, things get a little wild. One, two, three, four mana. All ritual, five mana. I think I just wait. If Delver flips, it does. Brainstorm's good, folks. Brainstorm's real fucking good. So much pressure. <laughs> I am just like not going to get my time to fucking dick around here. All right. That's three card types in graveyard. Ponder will be the fourth card type. Takes six this turn, going to thirteen. I take nine next turn. Really like take like total eleven because of these fetch lands. We might have to try to go off without cadaverous bloom here. It's like, I, I start getting into, like, Lightning Bolt is a realistic way to kill me as of next turn. Assuming I take the full 9, 9, 10, 11, Lightning Bolt will kill me. So, do I fetch now? I don't think I fetch now, because, like, colors can be a little weird here. Uh, here we go. Dark Ritual is my starting point. Am I going to get to Threshold reasonably? Probably not. Will be the third card in Graveyard? Yeah, probably not. Am I going to attempt to play Cadaverous Bloom? I don't know that I win without it. Grab like a Trop. Got days to think about here as well. I think I'll play this around single days. Try that. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll play the Cabal Ritual. The plus one mana now to play around double days is probably more important than a lot of other things. So, there's Cadaverous Bloom. Please resolve. Okay, it resolved. Let's get black black for exiling a land. I'll cast an Infernal Contract. Okay. Uh, two, four, six, eight. That's here into the Abyss. Two. Four, six, eight, here, target me. I peer into the abyss. Please resolve. Ah, oh, what opponent, you hate fun. You don't want me to draw half my library? Draw 22 cards isn't okay with you? Whatever. 
whatever floats your boat. And I am now dead to the onboard creatures. Uh, so I will concede. GG's. Um, so I probably want defense grid and carpet of flowers for this matchup. Probably means that my Cabal Rituals go out, and some number of Spirit Guides go out as well. And board, like, three-ish Spirit Guides out. And hope to play a slower game. Like, resolving some of this stuff, meaning that my big stuff can resolve. Um, my opponent did have the Force of Will, and honestly, they could have stopped me at multiple points in that turn. I'm, I'm like, very much not surprised. There's also a world where I can get saucy and play Rotting Regisaur just as a, like, deal with this, but, like, Force of Will still beats that, so. I DK. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. This plays a turn two defense grid around days. Do I want to ponder on turn one? Off Tropical Island. I'm fine with it. Like, I have very good cards. Like, Carpet of Flowers that I can dig towards. These, uh... These cards are nice. Let's take them. Will not shuffle my library. I'm also going to try to resolve Carpet of Flowers on turn one. Like, this card will be obnoxious as the game goes along. It is 100% worse worth Force of Will if my opponent has it. Don't get to make any mana with it on turn one, because um, my opponent doesn't have any islands. But it does trigger. So there is that. All right. Guess I'll use this ability. Doesn't really matter what um, color I make here. Go ahead and play out a Lotus Petal. And then attempt Defense Grid. It has resolved. That's very good for me. Like, I can try to get the Cadaver's Bloom in play and then play the draw four that's on top of my library. Some of that does depend on whether or not my opponent does play another island this turn. Because right now I have one, two, three mana, four mana. And I know I'm not drawing another mana source for turn. So I could use their assistance in the form of another island. Ooh. Okay. I mean, that is what it is. Carpet of Flowers will help me um, get over that. If I don't feel like I'm ready for the draw four, I can go ahead and fetch it away right now. I don't really feel like I'm ready for it yet. Like, it's a great card. But just, like, drawing cantrips, lands, or peer into the abyss would probably just be better. I think I am just going to take a basic so I don't get wastelanded again. I don't know. Like, the starting black mana can be important. But I'm going to go ahead and just take the basic. I'll cast the Brainstorm on my own turn if I don't draw a Ponder. I think I'm just going to say no to this until second main phase. Cast a Ponder. A Damnable Pact and another Carpet of Flowers. Another Carpet's interesting. Pact is cool. I think I'm just going to shuffle this, though. That's a land. That's fine. Go ahead and go to the second main phase. Yes, I'll add some blue mana. And let's kind of plan out our next turn or so with this. Diverse Bloom into Meditate? The start of something. Um, and just to like play around with this stifle, I'm gonna go ahead and just fetch a basic swamp right now. Call it a turn. Play me some islands, please. Alright, so here's a fetch land so they can shuffle off that brainstorm. The question is, like, are they willing to fetch? They don't really need to fetch in this turn cycle, I don't think, because like land instant or sorcery doesn't end up growing this to increase the power of the the attack, so it's probably more important to deny me that additional mana. Things change if they have, like, another Delver or Dragon Rage Channeler to play out, though. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. If I use my Lotus Plot, I can play Cadaver's Bloom this turn. That's fine with me. Some green mana. Go ahead and fetch with this. I think just grabbing another... We don't have another Swamp. I guess that's an Underground Sea, then. We have another Island with another island i don't really want another island because like if i have to hard cast some of this stuff like the black mana definitely matters but i really don't want to get wastelanded all right there's five mana for cadaverous bloom and then once i feel like i'm ready i can attempt to go off doesn't mean it happens but i can attempt there are worlds where my opponent just passes with a bunch of mana available and like can actually force a will something all right, still only three card types in Graveyard for what that's worth. 
Yeah, like shield shields are gonna be down down in this next turn. Like, ooh. Hoping to get another mana out of that. I don't think that's happening. I dropped to 14. I have one, two, three, four, five mana to work with. I think I'm good with playing an infernal contract here. It's just like super awkward to do this with blue blue floating. Actually, Cadaver's Bloom fixes that. Alright, let's add the black. Let's see where we go. It is an adventure. So I think I like Meditate next. Add black, junking, maybe the brainstorm. Play a Meditate, draw four cards. Oh, that's peer into the abyss. Let's make an absolute shit ton of mana. I think I will go ahead and exile Underground Sea here. Let's peer. Uh, and this should lead to a win the vast majority of the time. Let's cast some cards. I think I can just click on a bunch of stuff and somehow kill my opponent. Uh, I could probably play, pay a little closer to attention uh, to what's going on here, but I imagine we are just a-okay here. Does this round up? Round up each time it does. Okay. So let's peer. Draw a bunch more cards. I'm at one life. Uh, there is the pact. I should be more than good. I'm going to take a second and exile a bunch of cards. All right, I've exiled a ton of cards from my hand. I will target my opponent with the pact, and because I have defense grid, uh, it is just safe to do so. Let's let's do it for a little extra. I already play, play around the uh, soft permission. Damnable pact for X equals 26. Eat your heart out, Delver. We did it. This is the moral victory we all were looking for. Hot damn. We took a game off Delver. League is a success. Um, do I want to play an Abrupt Decay or two on the draw? Or like the pressure is a bigger deal? Elvish Spirit Guide kind of seems like whatever. That gets me one of those in. And... Uh, I don't know, can I go down a card draw effect or a Cadaver's Bloom or something? Probably not. I don't know if I can cut very many cards from this deck. Maybe I can cut one Meditate. Meditate better than... Infernal Contract, question mark, question mark, question mark. Infernal Contract is like black, uh, which like super matters with Cadaver's Bloom, but Meditate doesn't lose me life. We did kind of win that one at three, so, you know. I'm nervous, but I have all the right cards in hand. Uh, Wasteland will be very good against us this game, but that's going to be true the vast majority of the time anyway, so I think I just kind of accept. All right. This is going to be a... Tropical Island. I'm just going to ponder for a land this turn rather than attempt to stick carpet. I do not want that carpet to get dazed. Uh, fantastic. We'll go Brainstorm, then Petal, then Delta. I will not shuffle, and I just like found two more mana sources, which is fantastic. It's a little awkward if I get Wastelanded, though. Like Then I have to get like Bayou if I want to cast uh, carpet. Okay. That was a shuffle with the ponder, and I am not getting wastelanded. So those are huge wins. I guess the next question is like, is my opponent just going to play an instant to just turn this into a 3 3 and start bashing me as quickly as possible? And the follow up question there is if they do so, do I just abrupt decay the Dragon Rage Channeler on my own turn? Or do I just still try to resolve Carpet of Flowers because it's Carpet of Flowers? No shuffle with that ponder. And I am only taking one. Just like such a kick in the teeth, opponent can end up playing Murktide Regent. I think I am going to attempt Carpet of Flowers here. Um, it's pretty cool if it resolves. It does not resolve. Now the next question will be like, given okay, they got rid of a daze. Like, given that that just occurred, do I want to give up Lotus Petal to abrupt decay this to take the pressure off of me? I think I'm good with it. Like, my opponent got a scry out of uh, the Dragon Ridge Channeler. I think this needs to be Underground Sea. I don't think I can get Bayou for multiple green sources here. All right, let's take the pressure off and hope Murktide Regent doesn't happen. I am fucked if it does. What's your game plan? Expressive Iteration, that's fine. Finding a Misty. Is there a follow-up threat? The Valk? No, okay, it's just a Ponder. 
I really want to find another um, Carpet of Flowers. I guess just so much mana to ramp out these Cadaverous Blooms, and if I get a Cadaverous Bloom into play, there's like a very good chance that I just win. Opponent's still sitting there with priority. I wonder if they have like a Surgical Extraction and they're thinking if they want to try to like Surgical Extraction a Ponder or something like that. And also, I would really fucking like a Brainstorm, yo. I do not want three Cadaverous Blooms. Um... Take that ponder, just cast it, and this will get me to threshold for a future cabal ritual if that's something that matters. Oh no, the cabal rituals are actually in my graveyard, aren't they? Underground C. Yes, these are fine. I will not shuffle. I'll play that underground C, call it a turn. And uh see if we face down a giant Murktide regent this turn. No, we don't. One mana 3-3 three, three flyer is uh, pretty hot, though, still. Like, still absolutely falls into the realm of a problem. Because I have multiple Cadaverous Blooms, I'm fine with ramming one of these into a daze. I do not care about this card. Like, giving up the Dark Ritual is something, but since I know I'm not casting a spell next turn anyway, I am fine just attempting to trade this. Okay, it worked. Uh, we are going to get much better at playing around soft permission cards like uh, Lusterstorm and Days. Wow, opponent is choosing expressive iteration over like force of negation there. That's interesting to me. I don't know the texture of the rest of their hand, so like I I can't judge that too harshly. The surveilled card stayed on top this time, which is uh. Probably not good for me. Oh, it's just a ponder. Sure. Well, that, more accurately, the one that I'm seeing is a ponder. That doesn't mean that the one that stayed on top was. You know, stuff stayed on top again. Bad news for Phil fans. So I have seven mana to work with going into next turn, and I have Meditate plus the Infernal Contract that's on top of my library. So there's that. My opponent almost certainly has at least one counter spell in hand, probably multiple. Do I go for it? Like, are things going to get better if I just give my opponent more time? My life total is very real here. So the answer is probably no. All right. Pitch a Cadaverous Bloom. Attempt a Meditate. We're all in. Let's fucking go. It has resolved. All right. Let's exile um, Cadaverous Blooms. Let's play an Infernal Contract. And I get a Brainstorm to bail me out if this gets countered. It did. So I am currently queued up to skip a turn, which is not great. So let's get this Brainstorm to try and fix this. Yeah, let's, uh, let's whack that Concede button. Let's whack that Concede button and move on to the next round then. Uh, GG's. Alright, I have kept my opening hand for whatever round this is. Probably like round three by now. Um... I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab an Underground Sea and cast this Ponder now. Like, I'm probably... That's not Ponder Mana. Uh, I'm probably casting... Ooh. I don't really want two Blooms. I don't want the first one. Probably just call that good enough. And take it. And work towards putting a Bloom into play and then trying to go off with two Infernal Contracts. Oh, opponent's going faster. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Yeah, that's A-okay with me. The question is, do I just play an Infernal Contract here? And just try to put a Bloom into play later? Sounds good, like we're probably playing against something like Pox adjacent. Getting some of this stuff into play. Or rather, working towards some of it happening sooner is really good. The Lotus Plata, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Next turn, I can spit a Cadaverous Bloom into play. And then try to go off. Alright. This art is sick, by the way. Okay. That's no big deal. That still lets me get a Cadaverous Bloom into play. Like, it sucks, because, like, Cadaverous Bloom is better when you have more cards in hand, but... So, this is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Cadaverous Bloom, and then attempt to go off. Oh, I guess I need to uh, cast a Dark Ritual first, huh? All right, yeah. One, two. I think I just pay with everything that's in play. All right, am I going now? I think I'm going to try to go now. 
Exile for Black. Exile for Black. Infernal Contract. Ooh, that's a peer into the Abyss that I can just cast. Uh, Exile Swamp. That's three. Cast the Ball Ritual going up to six. We'll junk the Infernal Contract up to eight. Here into the Abyss, baby! I lose half my life going to two. Uh, do we have the win condition in hand yet? No, we don't. But I have another peer into the Abyss, so it's fine. There's some Dark Rituals. There's a Cabal Ritual. There's a Cabal Ritual. Uh, very nice. There's a Dark Ritual. There's a Lotus Petal. I am legit just going to take some of these lands out of my hand so that it is easier for me to see what I am working with. Lose half your life. Round it up. Air into the abyss. Take 10 more cards. Oh yeah. Okay, there is the damnable pact. So now I can just exile a whole bunch of stuff from hand and just win the game. Uh uh yeah, that's more than enough. Act! Cast it for 24. 23. 23 you'll do. <laughs> okay, this is great. This is great. Alright, um, so we are playing against uh, Discard Spell Dot deck. Rotting Registers are okay as an alternate win condition. Um, Abrupt Decay is reasonable for Liliana of the Veil specifically. Actually, I guess Lily, Lily of the Veil is good versus Rotting Regisaur. That's like a thing. I wonder how bad skipping my own turns are in this matchup. Just like straight up, just like skip a turn to draw four cards might just be like legit. Let's bring in three Reggie. I don't know what exactly to cut. Maybe I cut a Bloom... A spirit guide, a meditate, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But if all of the removal just went out and then I'm just like, herp derp dinosaur. Pretty legit. I think I am just like not going to mulligan in this matchup basically no matter what because my hand size matters so much for like bloom. All right, there's a swamp. There's a thought seize. That's fine. Yeah, the bloom understandably goes there. There's a Meditate. I think I'm going to ponder and attempt to leave something sweet on top of my library. That's not it. Map Shuffle that. I don't think I need to play out Lotus Petal. I'm going to pass. We'll see how good my opponent is at bullying my hand. Southy Voidwalker. Sure. I have picked up a Dark Ritual. Kind of whatever. Infernal Contract. Okay. All right, um, opponent recognized who I am and said hello. Do I want to Infernal Contract already? Know that I'm ready for that yet. Like, I can. Just kind of get punched for it. I don't gain that much mana by waiting. But my Cabal Ritual might be better for waiting, so, like, there's that. Eh, fuck it, let's go. Fetch. Grab Underground Sea. Dark Ritual. Ah, Cabal Ritual shit because of Dalthy Voidwalker. Um, alright. Infernal Contract. <laughs> alright. I think that weird. Infernal Contract again. Fizzle. Start a fetch land. Uh, life's bad. Shouldn't have done that. Ooh, opponent has red, so they might be playing, like, Hidetsugu Consumes All. Uh, which is... Pretty legit. I'll click a ponder here. I'm not going to use both of them. Actually, Polluted Delta was just worse than that. Uh, I got a one here. I think I'm on realistic outs. Cast a meditate with one floating, but I just redraw most of the same stuff. All right. Let's move on to the game where we're on the play. Should have played that one more patiently. Maybe I don't board out the bloom. Just like sticking those in play seems legit. And I just learned that Cabal Ritual got significantly worse. So I think I'm going to play one more Spirit Guide there. That said, I don't know that I can cut all of them just because like it takes me to black, black, black. Like it's filtering when I'm on hands that have lands like Island. Oh, fuck yeah. Rotting Registrar. Let's fucking go. My son. Your time has come. 
Underground Sea. Dark Ritual. Fucking Reggie. Let's go. Like, do you have a Lily of the Veil? I will straight up be sad if my opponent Dark Rituals into Lily. Otherwise, life's looking pretty good. <laughs> opponent says, oh boy. The old sideboard juke. Sideboard plan is strong. And then I'll just, like, uh, intend on discarding the Spirit Guide on my turn. Douthy Voidwalker is fine. Douthy Voidwalker can't block. Technically, technically should have fetched in response. That's something that, like, is not likely to matter in this game, but, like, it does matter. Third Spirit Guide. It's an Infernal Contract that I'm never going to play. Bash in for seven. And opponent is just dead next turn if they can't deal with Reggie. Do you have Lily? No! Yeah, if things had worked out just a little bit differently, we could have uh, Elvish Spirit Guided to stop that. I want to take three here and be under a very bad amount of pressure in many ways. All right. Ow. Bayou. Ow. Grab an Underground Sea. I will absolutely just go for the card draw here and try to set up something that matters. All right. Ponder. Oh, Bloom? Okay. I've already made my land drop for this turn. I think this is going to work out pretty well. Uh, assuming no further interaction, that is. Further discard spells that take the peer into the abyss are um, pretty gnarly. All right. Three mana. Ah! Okay, so the Bloom's not on top of my library anymore. So... I'm going to, oh, that's really good. All right. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Up to five mana. Just six mana. Seven mana like this, I think. Cast Peer into the Abyss, targeting myself, and see if we can string together a win from here. There's Lotus Petal. Uh, multiple Rotting Regisaurs into play? Is one way to go about doing this. I can go to 3 mana, 4 mana with Rituals, 5 mana by playing a land drop, 6 mana with Spirit Guide. Can I get to a 7th mana? I can, actually, I can just get Cadaverous Bloom in play and then, like, I'm good. Alright. So, there's Dark Ritual. There's Cabal Ritual. There's 5 mana. Oh, fuck, I think we're winning. I think we're winning. Let's... Uh, yes. Opponent says GG's, probably. I think I'm more than good here. That's 10 mana. I just have the... Oh, like, my opponent's at fucking 4, actually. Packed. I'll just pack for a little extra, just in case. Yeah. I respect the Pyroblast. I absolutely respect it. Alright, yeah, that's a win on the board for Prosbloom. All right, I've kept my hand here. Um, we'll kind of set up working towards Cadaverous Bloom and then attempt to go off with Pier. I think I just grab an Underground Sea here. And let's ponder. The next turn I have three mana, four mana. Elvish Spirit Guide gets me to the fifth mana for next turn, uh, which is cool. Let's bury the Bloom. And then I'll keep the other stuff. And we'll see if we're playing against like a Days deck where I do have to worry about Ooh, discard? Discard. I almost certainly lose the peer into the abyss here. Oh. Okay. So, let's go ahead and fetch. I'll grab uh, Bayou here, I think. Dark Ritual. Make my green mana for Cadaverous Bloom, get that in play, and then kind of hope the Peer into the Abyss sticks around, because, uh, like, I will win the game when I cast it. It'll take me two turns to do this in most cases. Uh, yep, that happens. Might be playing against Pox. Like, I am absolutely getting that vibe. This is two, four mana. Next turn I'll have six, the following turn I'll have eight. Uh, I guess I could have considered keeping that land in hand, although that's a little strange in some circumstances involving, like, him to Turox and stuff. Uh, Douthy Voidwalker. Yeah, absolutely. 
All right, two, four, six. Yeah, if I had kept the land, I could have gone seven mana and attempted to go off this turn. Oops. I don't know, like, at the same time, it, like, if I came to Tarok and I lose that, like, land and peer into the abyss, it's so devastating. Like, I probably never come back from it levels of bad. All right, I will take three from this Douthy Voidwalker. I notably have six cards in Graveyard, so I will never get Threshold. All right. Black mana. Black mana. Black mana. Here. Target me. I think I'm going to leave Underground C up. Here. What do you have? All right, cool. Um, I have a Damnable Pact in hand. Another peer. I think I am just good. Um, to just make this easier on myself, I am just going to start by exiling a shit ton of lands and just making it so that more of this stuff gets on the screen. Yeah, the rituals can just be turned into mana as well. That's fine. Other bloom can be turned into mana. I I just like in theory have the kill here already. I don't expect anything to go wrong. Yeah, I'll. I'll make it a little, a little extra chonky just in case. I guess I can also just like draw another portion of my library for funsies. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. I'll make more mana. <laughs> my opponent has conceded. Yeah. Yeah. You were. You were very dead. Uh. So we are playing against um some sort of like. Pox deck, or maybe like a Dark Ritual Merit Lodge sort of deck. I am expecting a lot of discard. Um, there were Veil of Summers in the original list, but I took them out because I didn't think they were particularly great in a lot of cases. I'm probably going to play Rotting Regisaur as the only thing that I board in here. Just kind of giving me that alternative out. Again, versus Douthy Voidwalker, the Cabal Rituals get a little bit worse. I think I'm going to go down on, like, two of those and one Meditate or something like that. If I draw a Mana Source, this is a turn two Regisaur, but I think I still just mulligan this one. I don't think it's quite there. Same as last time, I think. I am going to keep this one, and... Assuming some portion of this hand gets picked apart, a lot of things here aren't going to work super well. Like, I can try to just put the Cadaverous Bloom into play as quickly as possible, or I can, like, throw that back and keep, like, some ritual mana towards Pier, um, which might be better. It's, like, really hard to say, because I also can just get got by, like, turn one Dark Ritual Opposition Agent. Like, that is also just absolutely a thing that can happen. I don't think I'm in the situation where I have the luxury to play around it, though. Underground Sea. Let's ponder. Do I want more land? I kind of want more land. I think I'm going to shuffle that, though. Reggie. My man. Welcome. That's a real plan. That's how I am probably winning this game. Ah, Inquisition misses the peers, but gets to take Reggie. Oh, uh, it is taking the... Dark Ritual instead. Sure, but that's so awkward for you if I draw a Spirit Guide. Or a Lotus Petal. I am going to fetch now. Opponent didn't have Opposition Agent last turn. I'm just going to, like, get that out of the way now. I'm um, grabbing a Bayou, I think. Alright, an opponent seems to be fetching to Thin. Come end of turn. Turn 3 is where a lot of scary things can start coming in versus, like, these mono black decks and equivalent. Library is very good. Come on, land for Reggie. Reggie! Let's go, Reggie! Getting this in play makes Sylvan Library significantly worse. But opponent like could have like a Liliana or a Smallpox or something like that to uh, take care of this. Okay, one, one hit off Sylvan Library. Yeah, it is a Liliana, uh, which is going to be quite good. Goodbye, Reggie. And opponent makes another land drop too. And the Sylvan Library is now going to do a lot of work. Hopefully, like this Infernal Contract will. Let's go. That gives me a decent amount of padding. Oh, another Regisaur is, like, almost good. Um, I just have to pass the turn here. Hopefully, opponent doesn't play a creature. If opponent doesn't play into the cre a creature, 
can potentially just, like, slam a cadaverous bloom and then do something gross. But I'm kind of afraid of, like, a Douthy Voidwalker. Yeah. That's tough. I think I'm gonna get rid of Reggie. Reggie just gets eliminated by Liliana. I think I need to try to combo off to win this one. So I play a land, 5 mana, Cadaverous Bloom. And then try to win the following turn. I'll be 1 mana short of going off. Okay. Please don't Dark Ritual Opposition Agent. Nice. Alright, 5 mana, Cadaverous Bloom. I can make 6 mana and then be 1 short of Peer into the Abyss. Alright, opponent is just cantripping. That might mean they have a second Veil of Summer, uh, which is not great for me, actually. They just have another Veil of Summer that they can sit on. I can't actually win through it. Aw. That's a thing. Alright, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Just pitch a Spirit Guide here. These are ev Everything is just worth 2 black mana, so like things are okay. Wasteland. Still okay. They have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana, counting the card that I draw for my turn. Alright, opponent is just going to turn Douthy Voidwalker into Rotting Regisaur. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh! Alright. Exile Infernal Contract. Exile Appear into the Abyss. Target myself. 8 mana, 4 Appear into the Abyss, and I should be more than good to just win now. Yep. Good stuff. Start exiling some cards. Opponent has one card, and it seems like they are F6. So I think I am just guaranteed good here. I have the pact in hand already as well. Yeah, fantastic. Exile that. All rituals worth casting in this instance. Um, Actually, maybe I want to stay at this higher life total and just uh, try to legit kill my opponent. Um, let's just paint and pack for a decently large number, see if they do have the Veil of Summer. Um, let's cast this for a few extra, in case there's some random life gain thing that I'm not thinking of. Yeah, opponent lost that one for cycling their Veil of Summer. Um, that was on them. GG's. Okay, um, I think I'm going to keep my opening hand here. Um, I may end up using a lot of my life total to just kind of Infernal Contract and, like, use that to get me to the point where I can do something meaningful. But, like, the hand has three mana, four mana turn one. Like, I could technically start trying to go off on turn one, although I don't really think that's going to be a profitable thing for me to do. I think we're just gonna kind of pass the turn here, and I'll probably just do an end of turn brainstorm. You just like get a card deeper, make sure I hit a land drop, maybe shuffle some stuff away here. Uh, we're potentially playing against one of the like um, mono black uh, dark depths sort of decks. Uh, yep, absolutely. Owls of the Void on one. Okay, now we get to start seeing if I can win through weird stuff. No ability to shuffle here. That is going to slow me down a lot. Okay. Yeah, we're playing against a different different sort of deck now. And opponent has a follow-up play as well. Oh, opponent just straight up played Dark Ritual to play around days. Okay. I think I just need to kind of draw past some of the shit that is currently on top of my library. I think I'm going to pitch a Spirit Guide, cast a Cabal Ritual, and then just, like, draw past those cards. Not necessarily intending to combo off this turn, but just intending to get a bunch, like get deeper in my deck like I could continue to attempt to go off here but I don't think that's necessarily profitable for me and I will fetch around opposition agent here by the fact that I have a brainstorm and a couple of dark rituals because chalice this Urza Saga ticking up uh, means I get hit for a lot very quickly I will concede to a Karn I'm not going to win well I guess I can technically take one more draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can still technically like top deck like appear into the abyss and uh No, that doesn't really take me anywhere though. Getting coding, yeah. I don't I don't think I have any outs. Like my meditates probably can't get me anywhere. Yeah. Alright, concede. 
Uh, this match is probably going to be hard, like with Chalices, Karns, um, Opposition Agents, maybe some Lilies as well, depending on what the exact configuration looks like. So, like, these are the cards that I can consider here. Assuming that Leyline Helm might be involved out of the sideboard, I think I'm going to get rid of Cabal Rituals. And then I'm going to make one cut somewhere else for a Decay. I think it can just be like a Spirit Guide or a Meditate. Do a Meditate and go from there. I, I think this one's going to be tough, and I think it's going to be over quickly one way or another. I think my opponent's very favored. And Dark Ritual, Infernal Contract on turn one. Attempt to just continue from there, or is it better to just mulligan and look for a Reggie hand? Might be better to mulligan and look for a Reggie hand. My opponent's Sudden Edict probably just came out. Let's mulligan. That's a Reggie hand. Uh, it doesn't do it quick, but I can maybe do it on turn two. I think I'm going to get rid of the Bloom here. I just don't think I am ready for it at the current time. The Underground Sea. And let's ponder, looking for mana. I don't think this is what I want. I would like to find fast mana for next turn. Yeah. So this is Dark Ritual into Reggie next turn, assuming no Chalice happens. And if a Chalice does happen, I will just decay it at the end of my opponent's turn. All right, Chromox. Absolutely. Uh, what is that? Agra Mauling? Yeah. All right. Three mana. Are you going to transfer me? You're going to transfer me. Pretty good. So I'll want a basic land now. Um, I'm going to make a fetch around opposition agent here, probably just grabbing a bayou. And I'll call it a turn. And I'm hoping that a Regisaur next turn is good enough to win this game. Curse of Leeches. Beginning of an enchanted player upkeep, they lose one life, you gain a life. Sure. That's fine. There's Meditate. I don't care about that for right now. Fetch. Grab C. Play Reggie. We're not looking to storm off this game. We're looking to just beat with a 7-6 dinosaur three times. Well, actually, it's going to be more than three times, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I probably have to just, like, abrupt decay that rather than the Trinosphere. The extra turns that provides are spooky. There's two mana, so this will be four mana. So I can be facing down a Karn. Karn just gets killed by Reggie. Right, that is a Chalice on one. That's fine. So I get drained for one. I discard a card to Reggie. That'll be Meditate. I think I'm planning on killing Curse of Leeches with Abrupt Decay. Yeah, bash, bash for seven, pass with Abrupt Decay up. Oh, fuck. Uh... Or no, it's still killable with Abrupt Decay. Yeah, that's fine. Oop. And, like, opponent has left me with Reggie. Cool. Junk Dark Ritual. Drawing another Reggie would be so hot. Oh, Hagra Mauling. How did they cast Hagra Mauling? Oh, one less of an opponent controls no basic lands. Okay, that's awkward. Well... On we go, then. Cast a Lotus Petal, once I remember Trinosphere is in play. Fetch around Opposition Agent again. A, do I grab a basic for Hagra Mala, Mauling purposes? I guess so. Call it a turn. And see what opponent can do. Got another land. Barn's rough here. It's a 3-mana something or other instead. It is a Chalice on 0. Not great for me. Not great for me. Uh, we're digging towards like a Reggie or something like that. Hey, it's a Reggie. Probably fine to go to two, right? My opponent attacks me. It's probably for three with a Douthy Void Walker. Yeah. Fine to go to two here. Grab an Underground C. One, two, three. There's Reggie. And we'll see if opponent can beat a second one. Uh, Transphere. Doesn't kill Reggie. Start a brainstorm. Bash for seven. Put opponent to eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. I can draw half my library. I don't think that's better than just doing this, though. As weird as that sounds. This just is protection versus an, uh, an edict effect. Nice! And we win. 
I do have to do that shit again, though. I can bring in the one dress down if I want to get better at answering Urza Saga, but I don't think I want to get better at answering Urza Saga. I think I just want to get lucky with Rotting Regisaur. Um, I think I'm just going to mulligan this hand. I think it's just too bad versus a lot of things opponent can bring to the table. I think I keep this hand with the intention of being able to abrupt decay whatever lock piece my opponent plays. Um, unsure what to get rid of here. Like, it's very tough. I think it's the bloom. I think I'm just too far from it where I want it. Okay. Yeah, Leyline is fine. Like, it's a helm that I would care about. Over there. Curse of Leeches, I think. Curse of Misfortunes. Okay, so opponent is full on curses. Fine, I can answer that if I'd like. There's also a world where I straight up just, like, abrupt decay that mox and just say, like, deal with it. I am... With an Urborg in play, I probably don't need to fetch immediately around Opposition Agent, do I? That plays into Wasteland. I don't know. Like, I still want these to be dual lands at the end of the day. Uh, I'm just going to grab Underground Sea and pass. I might give up Elvish Spirit Guide to Abrupt Decay that Chalice so that I can Ponder Fetch on my own turn. I think I will. And uh, again, Abrupt Decaying this Chrome Mox also would not be crazy if... My board was just a touch different. All right. So let's ponder. These are just more lands. And I can take a ponder from this and just fetch and reponder immediately. That's fine. No shuffle. Go ahead and fetch. I have a drop with this one, I guess. Uh, no, I want all these to be black for this. Uh, actually, trop is a tri land because of Urborg. Drop. Ponder. I don't just want to work towards Registrar, I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to shuffle that. Found the island again. Two mana for another chalice. Not great. The second one is a lot harder for me to answer. Hey, we'll go ahead and... Eh, you know what? I, w I won't. I won't fetch. Let's just play Infernal Contract. I was hoping to find a Reggie there. I failed. Well, we'll play Infernal Contracts till we find Reggie. Ooh, that's very scary here. All right. Not Reggie. I am going to go ahead and just play another one of these. I got, I got to get something that, like, helps me keep up with that. Ooh, Cadaverous Bloom? That's not bad. I'll play out my air quotes underground C. Need to play out a couple of cards here. So I play out both those Lotus Petals. This is three, four mana. I am one short of getting Cadaverous Bloom into play. I can play out a Spirit Guide if I want, but I don't think that's better than just holding these other cards. Oh no. Okay, opponent has Opposition Agent. Uh, that is a disaster, actually. Right? Because, like, now I'm going to get attacked down to one. Meaning that... I cannot fetch, and I can't play something that costs me life. And my opponent's at 20? Uh... I can technically meditate in response here. I don't think I have any outs. All right. Take your, take your Curse of Leech's win. You, you earned it. Overall thoughts on the deck list. Honestly, a lot better than I expected. Like, we put up some some wins. I think we won on, like, turn two or turn three one time. Um, we we won a game versus Delver. Like, we won a couple matches. I forget. I kind of took a break in between recording rounds, so I don't remember how many we actually won. But, like, this was better than I thought it was going to be. I don't think this is a super competitive strategy, but uh, if you are looking for something, like, to do for the lols, like, this was very, very fun to record. And I kind of put off this one uh, for a decent amount of time because I was just, like, unsure if this was going to work at all. Uh, but turns out it did. Pyramid of the Abyss is a really powerful card. Uh, Bloom is extremely slow, probably too slow for Legacy, but very powerful once it is in play and you have a bunch of card draw. Um, so I, I enjoyed this one a lot. Like, this one gets a thumbs up from me. It's, like, absolutely janky. It's not the most competitive thing in the world. But it's really fun, and you and your opponents are probably going to enjoy watching it do its thing. 
Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button on the way out. If you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, please do that to support my content. Have a great rest of the day. See ya.